Good evening, IHSA. Well, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just said IHSA football family, but this is not a normal IHSA football video. This is a free recruiting seminar. I've done seven. Uh, last one was uh, Sunday. This is currently being filmed November 15th, 2023. So if you're watching this video and it's two years later or three years later, I'm guessing things have changed. Uh, I guarantee you they have changed, but uh, this is the recruiting seminar. My name is Coach Big Pete, a.k.a. Pierre Line Linewebber. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. As well as that, if you like my work, feel free to leave a tip slash donation via PayPal, Vimo link below um, as well. Uh, but again, this has uh, been free recruiting seminar. I've been asked if I could film it and put it up on YouTube. No problem. It's no problem. Um, uh, was it 11 November 15th? This is my last day. Uh, is uh, November 27th as publisher of Deep Dish. I'm out of football. I'm out of recruiting all that shit. So, and again, I will be cursing sometimes. I will be profane. I apologize to you people profusely if you are offended. But if you want the truth, watch the video. If you don't want the truth and live in la-la land... Shit, be my guest, go fucking crazy. So, all right, <clears throat> let's get started, shall we? And as always, um, again, just a quick reminder, um, if you're watching this, parents, players, um, this is the big thing that I can not stop saying. Football's got to be fun for you. If you want to play football, that is the most important thing for a recruit. Players don't force your kids to play football. Players feel the need if you feel that you're being forced into a sport just to say no. It's not good. It doesn't help. It doesn't even help a, a healthy relationship between the parents and the child if you do that. Do not force a kid to play football. Don't do it. It's not good. Injuries happen. Um, and strains are put on relationships between parents and, and children or parents and guardians. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Ask your son, do you want to play football? And the second question you want to ask is, your son, if he's playing high school football right now, does he want to play college football? And I forgot to mention one thing. This is only for football. No other sports. I don't know shit about the other sports. Only no football. So just a quick reminder. I just want to make that clear so people are like, well, what about that? I don't know anything about the other sports. I only know football. That's it. <laughs> Honestly. Um, but again, that is the most important thing that I can stress with you. Asking your son if he wants to play football. That is the most important thing. That's one of the things that you have to that you have to know as an adult. Does he like playing the game? Is the game fun for that child? That is, uh, that is one of the most important things that I can stress. The second one. Do not pay for recruiting services. Pay for recruiting services are a scam. They are deceptive practices. They make money off of hardworking families. They've been screwing families over for decades. Do not pay for a recruiting service. Um, a lot of people ask, well, what a NCSA, Next Gen, Keith Smiley, he's a piece of shit. Don't pay for those. Don't pay for any of those recruiting services. My recruits, Coach Peroni, a piece of shit too. Do not pay for recruiting services. And I see some recruiting middle agents, street agents that get involved. And now they're in the recruiting writing game now, which I absolutely don't like and I block. I, I, block, those, I block those MFers over and over again. Do not pay for recruiting. A shaman from NUIC Sports, he's another scam artist as well. Do not pay for recruiting services. Do not pay for scam all-star games. Do not pay for BS. Again, Parents, I, I stress this very highly with you and recruits. Parental intuition and recruit intuition is a smart thing. You'll know who the scam artists are and who wants your money. Simple as that. We have street agents right now, middlemen, literally taking money from families, taking money, uh, having to pay a couple parents, take a mortgage out on their house to pay for a kid for a recruiting service and a private nutritionist and a personal trainer. It was a waste of money. It was a waste of money. Again, recruiting is free. Fill out those free recruiting questionnaires on college teams' websites. Fill them out. 
I beg of you, fill out those free recruiting questionnaires on college teams' websites. Search the college team on the, on the search engine. It will pop up, and it will say, recruit information, recruit questionnaire, recruit survey. Fill it out. Please fill it out. It's absolutely free. It's the best place for exposure. And you should be filling out Division Three, Division Two, Division One. NAIA and JUCO questionnaires. That is the biggest thing that you can do. Again, if these if these coaches see a player that is overqualified and it's Division One, he'll talk to his friend. And a lot of college coaches have friends in other programs that are bigger programs to let them know, hey, this kid's not our level. He's a lot higher. You might want to take a look at it. Fill out those recruiting questionnaires. It has been done for decades, decades. So please. All you have to do is fill out those uh, recruiting questionnaires on college teams' websites. Don't pay for recruiting services. If you get the, the, the new thing is the apps that say a college coach is interested in you, please sign up. Don't do it. It's a scam. Don't fall for the BS. Let me tell you this again. Recruiting is free. Do not pay for recruiting services. Numerous times. Numerous times. I got... Just scumbags, just absolute scumbags. And again, they look, they're parasites. They suck the money off of hardworking families and they laugh to the bank. Or they'll take your money and when you call them, they shut their phone down. So please understand this. Do not pay for recruiting services. That is the most important thing. Now, when I say recruiting services, there were good guys. But those good guys had to change their name because the dipshits were using their name. Scouting services. These are paid by college teams to scout. There are two people in Illinois that you should be following. One is Chris Roll from National Preps. He's the former Lake Park coach. He does a wonderful job. Uh, He took over for Clint Cosgrove, who is now with Rivals. Brian Alt of Catapult Sports is another guy that you must follow and fill out the recruiting questionnaire. Again, they get paid by college coaches to scout. They will never charge you any money. National Preps, Catapult Sports, I salute you for what you guys do, honestly. Do not pay for recruiting services. I'm begging with you parents. and You guys keep saying that. Don't do it. I'm saying it. Don't do it. Don't fall for any of that. Okay? Don't fall for that. They're all scams if they're charging you money. Don't do it. Do not do it. Um, Now, for a recruit, and I say this again, I was a fan of Twitter, slash X, that's called X now, um, but it's just been told hard. Elon Musk has screwed up a lot of things on Twitter. Um, It's tough for me, especially to find small school recruits, so I have to keep searching, keep searching, keep searching, keep searching, then I find them. Um, The most important thing is, have an X Twitter account, whatever it's called now, Twitter account. I'll just say Twitter if you know what I'm saying. It's X. Fill out, have your bio stats. Well, not, not stats, I'm sorry. Bio size, position, class year, high school. You can also put your head coach's name too. Put your huddle link or YouTube link, and I'll get into that as well, in your profile. That will help out the most. Have a clear profile picture, please. And have a clear name, your real name, no nicknames, none of that BS. We've had kids with fake nicknames that absolutely hurt the recruiting chances. We've had kids pose with pictures with a gun that recruit, that killed his, uh, his, his recruiting. So please, for the love of everything holy, be on X. I'm, I, and this is my last couple weeks now. I'm sick and tired trying to, find, trying to find recruits on Xbox Live and PlayStation Live. It's a pain in the ass. Help yourself and put, and when you have a huddle, put the correct information in your contact information. I would also stress too to stay away from putting your phone numbers or any private information where you live on your Twitter account or your huddle account uh, because there's a lot of scumbags. I'm telling you that right now. Don't do that. Also, for your huddle, if your coach has it locked down where you can't show that much highlights or it's locked or that, you can always take your phone, film it, and put it on YouTube. YouTube. YouTube is a great tool for recruits. Film it, cut it up, and put that film on YouTube. It helps out a lot. I've seen a lot of recruits do it. 
it really does help. Really does help. Just a uh, just again quick quick reminder about that. Um, and again, uh, with college coaches, and I and I and I talk about this for recruits, and a lot of people don't understand this for recruits. Uh, and I know, and I'm going to talk about it because people are going to say, "Well, what about Division Two, D One? Everyone wants D One. Everyone wants D One, but they don't have D One bodies." And I say this right now: uh, talent is a lot different than stats. You might be happy and say, "Oh, well, I got this," and I got. It does not matter to a college coach. The, the what matters is where is that player going to be in the next couple of years? Where do we see him projected? It's not what he can do now with all the, oh, I got 20 touchdowns rushing, and I got over 1,000 yards rushing too. It's where is he projected, his growth. And again, college coaches have a board slash app slash spreadsheet of those players' players' names. And again, if a player commits, they get the, and they're, they're fully committed to the school, they're going to take the name off. Or if a player that they're interested, or do, can we do, do we have a shot at this player? What's the minimal shot, 20%, 30 40 50 yada, yada, yada. It'll be on a list. So that's what you need to know. Again, I, I beg of you. The recruiting process is so easy, but these scumbags, pieces of shit parasites, try to make it difficult for you to get money from you. That is the most important thing that you must know about. Recruiting is highly logical and common sense. That's all that is needed. That's all that is needed. A kid advertising himself. And if you have anyone, if you're a parent that's in a management spot or hiring anyone in your job and went through interviews, that's what it's a, lot, a lot of it's like. Oh, this kid's a, this kid, this kid, this kid's a piece of shit. I'm not going to take him. And again, the most important thing too is does the kid fit the program? Because there's a lot of people that say, well, that kid, he doesn't fit. That kid is awesome. Illinois should have offered him. He doesn't fit Illinois' offense. He, in no way he fits Illinois' offense. He, do, he really doesn't. He, fin, he fits Kennesaw State's offense because of that option attack, but he doesn't fit Illinois' offense. Or that linebacker, he fits the, he's a 3-4 he's a linebacker. He, doesn't fit, he does not fit in a regular 4-2-5 defense. Again, people need to understand this. This is the most important thing that people do not understand about recruiting and scouting. And like, oh, well, he's a, he belongs to this team. How come they didn't have an offer? Well, they didn't offer him because he doesn't fit the team. He doesn't fit what they're trying to do. Again, a lot of people think it's the best team. We, you got to recruit him. No, it's not. It, it really isn't. I've had a top quarterback recruit, um, class of 2021, People were pissed off that Alabama didn't offer him. He didn't fit their offense. He did not fit their offense. And literally people could not understand that. Again, people got to, they got to understand these things. It, it's so simple, but yet people make it overcomplicated. So just understand that. And again, offers read like high, high, uh, high, <laughs> hieroglyphics. If a kid's getting offered from Army, Navy, Iowa, I know that kid's a class kid. If a kid's getting offered from Florida State, Miami, yeah. They read like hieroglyphics. What offers does he have? Hmm, that's very interesting. Now I know what type of kid this is. Very, but a lot of people don't understand it. But it's very important that you know. Um, we go into offers. Again, there's committable and non-committable offers. For committable offers, you can commit to that said offer. Non-committable offers, you see it as a basically a PR move. Um, and I hate to say it, and this is one of the main reasons why I'm leaving, you have coaching staffs now taking money um, to give non-committable offers out. And it's completely bullshit. And I do not like it. I think it absolutely sucks and it stinks. There's schools that have put their foot down and said, we're not doing that shit. There's other schools that have been doing it, which is an absolute disgrace. It's the and it's distasteful and it's wrong. And you have these parents that are going for middlemen to pay for those um, uncommittable offers, just so they can put it as a graphic. And then that kid doesn't get any more offers. Guess what? That kid's fucked. So you gotta understand. That's the most important thing. A lot of people don't understand that. 
you see a lot of graphics of people getting angry. Oh, oh, why did that kid get this offer? And I'm my kid. And then I have to calm him down and say, it was a non-committal offer. Don't worry about it. Um, a couple of years ago, I, I forgot what Max called. I, Miami of Ohio, I apologize. The coach had the kids because a parent asked, what's a committable offer and what's not a committable offer? He had the kids stand up. I, I'm probably getting the Max school wrong if I think about it. He had the, all the kids stand up and said, you guys have all been offered by our university, but it's not committable. When you see a 14-year-old kid get an offer uh, or a 13-year-old or a 9-year-old, it's a non-committable offer. You see a uh, baby Gronk. I forgot about that kid. He's got offers. They're non-committable offers. And people get, I know people get so angry about that. Oh, the emails are crazy. But again, this is just simple stuff. This is just simple stuff. A non-committable offer is it's bringing more money, you putting money into coaches' pockets, um, so, uh, the GAs and all that crap. And it, it sucks. It really does suck. That's one part of the reasons why I'm leaving because I think it's an absolute bullshit move. It's a bullshit, bullshit league move. But again, with NIL and NIL, and especially in Illinois, IHSA allowing NIL, they're coming out of the woodwork, the parasites. Um, you've got kids now signing, if they have any future NFL rookie contracts, they sign 25, 30% off of it off to their agent because of these NIL, NIL deals. That's how sickening it's become. It's become a personal joke. So just to, again, quick little reminder about this. It's going to get a lot more dirtier than you think in the coming years. Hopefully NCAA puts down the gauntlet, but they won't. They got their fingers stuck up their ass. Sorry about that, but it's true. Um, again, relationship with high school coach. That is the most important thing. Having a positive relationship with your high school coach is the most important thing. I cannot stress this enough. Invite him for dinner. Ask him about recruiting. Now, if there's a coach that's an asshole, I understand you can tell him to go fuck off. But, again, have a positive relationship with your coach. Size, speed. Another thing in recruiting that a lot of people don't understand, if you're not big, you better be fast. If you're not fast, you better be big if you want that D1 offer. That is the most important thing. That's the one thing that you got to know. If you're not big, you better be fast. And if you're not fast, you better be big. That's the biggest thing that you have to know. I'm sorry. But if you're a 5'9", five nine, five nine Oompa Loompa offensive tackle uh, that can't, can't, has a, a 6.0 of 40 time, you're not getting it. You're not going to get a Division One offer. I apologize. Division Three, look at it. And again... Parents, you have to be reasonable. And I've seen too many parents, again, too many parents kill their kids. Absolutely kill their kids. Well, we got our son a private nutritionist. Well, I'm very happy that you got your son a private nutritionist. I'm so happy, so relieved. Let me guess, salmon and sweet potatoes. How'd you know? It's always salmon and fucking sweet potatoes. That's all it is. Salmon and sweet potatoes. And this is a little bit of a joke, but it's pretty much salmon and sweet potatoes. That's all it is. I swear. Salmon and sweet potatoes are, my son hasn't eaten sugar in two years. Do you guys know Todd Marinovich, the former Oakland Raider? His dad had the same mindset. His dad was an asshole. His son became a fuck when he went to the NFL. So please, parents, be loving, be understanding, and stop pursuing that NFL dream contract so you can retire on. Don't do it. It's stupid. It's foolish. I've seen too many parents do that. Complete BS. So just, a, again, a quick uh, reminder. Um, again, with that being said, grades. Uh, I'm sick and tired of talking about grades. If you want more doors to open for you in recruiting, you must have the grades. You must have the test scores. That is the most important thing. I'm sick and tired of talking about this and kids being angry. Well, I'm not getting recruited. What's your GPA? Oh, it's 1.8. No shit, Sherlock. Really? Something so new and so breathtaking. We, you've been told that numerous times to get your grades up and you, know, and you didn't do it. Get your grades up. That's the most important thing. And I root for those kids 
that have those lower test scores and lower grades, and they work themselves to the to the grindstone, and they get those good grades. God bless them. God bless them. And I know I'm going to get an email. What about learning disabilities? I know for a fact if that child has learning disabilities, they will take the time and help that kid. I I I completely understand the situation. Completely understand understand the whole situation. Um, doing doing that said and being perfectly honest with you again, winter showcases. They're good. I really like uh, Boom Football, and this is for Illinois recruits. I like Boom Football Showcase. I like the Prep Red Zone Showcase. I like the Edgy Tim ML, MLK Showcase for some weird reason. I still don't understand. I don't think Martin Luther King in his dream spe- in the, him having a dream speech, Junior, in the, at the National Mall said, "My dream is to have a sh- uh, is to have recruits showcase their talent." At an edgy Tim showcase. I don't think that was part of the dream, but I could be wrong. I could I could be wrong. But that being said, Edgy Tim Showcase is good as well. He also does a thing with EFT and Boom as well. Does a wonderful job too. Um, and again, um, just a quick quick reminder. Um, parents, watch what you put, watch what you say. Most parents don't understand it, they fuck around. Um, they create burner accounts, they go on forums and message boards, and they talk shit about other recruits. It's so stupid, don't do it. I'm sick and tired of seeing it. I'm sick and tired of parents emailing me all this crap. Be, be fucking adults. Just be adults. Don't be little kitties and using burner accounts and, hey, well, you suck. <laughs> you literally can trace the, the accounts back to the parent. I don't like it. I think it's absolutely appalling. And it's becoming increasingly popular. Increasingly popular. I swear, some of these parents want to be friends with these kids and not their parents. Pipe bomb, but that's just one of those things. Again, be respectful. You're being watched too. You're being scouted. I've seen kids get uh, scholarships pulled from them because of their parents. Their parents absolutely fucked it up. That is a thing that you must know about. That is the most important thing. Parents, you're being watched too. I got paid $500 this fall to watch a parent for the whole game. And she was on her best behavior. She was absolutely a a diamond. Because of all the stories and all the incidents, she learned. Please, parents, be on your best behavior. Um, Again, Private trainers. Seven on seven football, because I know people like to ask. Um, I like trainers. I don't like some trainers. I think a lot of quarterback trainers are full of themselves. I have full trust in Coach Ho. Coach Honesty. Um, wonderful guy, great guy, former quarterback, former coach, oh, championship winning coach, former Chicago Bear. I have complete trust uh, in... O-line mafia, fist football, although fist football, come on, guys. Uh, don't You're not a recruiting service. Wink, come on. Stick to training. Um, and I really, I really again, Sabo, uh, Solomon, they do a wonderful job at fist football. Coach uh, O out of uh, O-line mafia, they do a wonderful job. I know training services fight and bicker with each other, offensive linemen, Defensive linemen, training services should not bicker with each other. You guys are good. And golden quarterback is just mudslinging. Next level athletics, Greg Holcomb. Throw it deep, Jeff Christensen and his group. I'm going to say this right now. Go to any of those places. The big And quarterback farm, I forgot. Quarterback farm, Coach Gregory. The big thing I'm going to say this right now. Go to a service O and O, one quarterback, one Oh, what's it? out of Evanston? I forgot the guy's name. Fuck. Um, but they do a wonderful job. Go to a training service that respects your kid and respects you. Do not go to a training service that doesn't treat your kid the same way as another kid that's getting that their parents are paying a shitload more money to them. Be respected. That is the most thing important with these trainers. And again, they don't overcharge you, they don't take advantage of you. And let's be truthful, most of these trainers see kids as a stepping stone. To more fame, more money. 
and that's that's not it's got truth. Same way with seven on seven football. Um, and we talk about seven on seven football. I like top, top Gun, Coach Hoff, Harrow football. I know Greg Holcomb's got one Supreme football. I love boom football. I think boom football gets a bad rap. I personally think boom football definitely gets a bad rap. Um, I think Coach J.R. Nichols, um, Nichols, that whole crew, Elliot, Proviso West grad, they do a wonderful job. Shout out to Proviso West, by the way. Uh, big shout out, but boom football does a wonderful job. They get a bad rap because people hate them. I really do. But I think boom football to me, they've put in, in Cubs into a tiger cage against adult tigers, and the Cubs have either gotten murdered by the big tiger or they've grown and become a bigger tiger. And that's the biggest important thing that I see in boom football. And I know a lot of coaches like to chirp, chirp, chirp about boom football. Did you see the video? Did you see the video? But as soon as JR walks into the thing, they're ready to go down on their knees and suck them off, to be honest with you. And that's one of the biggest things that I, I literally see. Just the well, boom football is bad, blah 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 blah. That's all. That's all it is. But to be honest with you, boom football has done a wonderful, awesome job. They've done a great job. And to be honest with you, you can't really. You can say you, you can say some of the things you disagree with, but I hate seven on seven football. And J.R. Nichols knows that, but I still respect the dude, and I still respect boom football, and they do a wonderful job. And I know literally Boom Football has literally jump-started a lot of the teams in the Chicagoland area. <sighs> my son didn't make the Boom Football team. <sighs> I'm going to take a mortgage out of my house and start a 7-on-7 seven seven team or a training service. I swear Boom Football has been responsible for more training services and uh, new 7-on-7 seven seven teams than any other thing. Because they got pissed off because their son didn't make the team. But again, that's all private sports, uh, AAU, all that shit. But again, find this 7 on 17 that best fits you and your child and what you want them to lead. Simple as that. Um, they all do a good job. Top, Coach Hoff, Top Gun, wonderful guy. Awesome guy, stand up person, respect the living hell out of him. Um, quarterback Farms got also got a, a 7 on 17. Great job by Coach Gregory. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other teams. It's going to slip my mind. I know uh, in the Selvin Burbs, there's, there's two teams. Uh, there's a team in uh, Maple Park. Um, oh, it's, it's killing me. It's killing me. There's also a 7-on-7 seven seven team in uh, Middle Illinois. Um, there's two boom football teams up north, north. One in Rockford, and there's one down south in St. Louis, too, as well. They got a bunch of squats, boom football. But, yeah, definitely check them out. They have competitive, non-competitive. They do a wonderful job. Check them out. And... Um, that's just, I hate seven on seven football. I'm a lineman coach. I'm a lineman. Don't like it, but <laughs> there you go. Cause I get, I keep getting questions. Those are the two biggest questions. Who should I go with seven? I don't know. But do something that respects you. That's all you need to know. If your kid likes them, a hundred, go hundred percent, do it. If your kid doesn't like them, fuck off and don't fall for the church. Well, I trained this quarterback and I trained that. Again, it's just trainers making more money off the kids that they train. That's all. That's all it is. Self promotion and bull and all that bullshit. Simple as that. So, that's all you. Uh, all you need to know. Um, <clears throat> and I talked about winter showcases. Um, save your money. I wouldn't spend money on spring showcases for college show college camps, not college showcases. College showcases are run with college coaches and an, usually an independent contractor. That charges over two hundred bucks, and it's a complete ripoff and a scam. If a college coach says, "Hey, you should come to this college, uh, this uh, college showcase, national ID prospect, or this one," uh, and it's uh, it's two fifty, three hundred dollars, you tell that coach, "Go fuck yourself." Well, sorry, you should tell that coach politely, "No, I am not interested. I will see you at a college camp." That's all you gotta do. I'll see you at that college camp. I'll be at that college camp. College camps are sixty, eighty bucks. I wouldn't waste any money on those little BS prospects. And college coaches, I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing. And your greed is only going to kill the sport even more. And you know it. And you know it. So just a simple heads up. And again, college camps, I love them. Uh, North Central, 
Lake Forest College, big shout out to Coach Kent. He does a wonderful job. He, Coach Kent is the only coach that I really know about that lets his rival conference coaches into his camp and lets them work with the kids too. That's a class act. So look at the Lake Forest College camp, the University of Indianapolis camp as well, um, Indiana State camp, Lindenwood uh, Mega Showcase camp, um, North Central camps and another thing in the summer, but they do a wonderful job. There's 60 staffs there. Make sure you check that out as uh, as well. Uh, but again, like anything over $200 or anything like, especially with the winter showcases, I think one was like Lord University or some shit like that. Don't do it. It's a scam. It's a scam. I'm sorry. It's a scam. All that BS. And they get an FCS little puppet team and says, hey, we're going to be here. Uh, so you got to spend the money. Guess what? Fuck you. Sorry. But don't just don't do it. Don't do it. And again, I apologize for the language. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry about that. Uh, but just just the quick things about that. I won't spend money on that shit. Uh, and again, they know what they're doing. And this is the reason, again, now the one of the other reasons too that I'm leaving is it's greed. Greed is literally going to kill everything. It's going to kill everything. The only thing is, is that it, it just, everything floods and ratings go down, especially in professional college football. And people get less interested. I, in the concussion protocol, more parents get scared because those those greedy parasites, they'll go to basketball, they'll go to soccer, they'll go to baseball. And let them stay there. Simple as that. But, uh, yeah. And, again, football is the greatest sport. It's the greatest world team. It's the greatest team sport. American football is a team sport. I don't want to hear uh, hear anyone. You didn't say soccer. No. Um, overall, um, with that being said, um, I talked about that. I talked about that. I talked about that. I talked about that. All State. Oh. I gotta talk about this. <sighs> All state has become a popularity contest, and a lot of college coaches are not interested in the all state list. They're more interested in the all conference list because it's not a popularity contest. You don't need a membership to vote. So, and this is for all the states. So, just a quick reminder again, all conference is the most important thing. Much better than all state. I'm telling you that right now. I know a lot of linemen they got screwed this year. By the way, for all for all state. By the way, come on. Um, and I'm talking about Illinois. I don't know about your state. Again, I'm from Illinois. You can see the bears singing. Me. Yeah, I'm from Illinois. You can hear the accent. Yep, Illinois. Um, I talked about size and speed. Uh, I'm probably not going to cut this out. I'll just let you guys watch me go through my notes. College coaches lie. <laughs> That's no surprise. Um, couch coaches lie. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. Um, they're both they're they're looking for the next stepping stone, and we got more money involved. They want that stepping stone to the next big head coaching spot. They're gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you right now. There's some good coaches that I have absolute respect for, um, and coaching staffs that I respect for. I respect the living hell out of the University of Iowa. I respect the hell out of Indiana State and Coach Mallory. Because he tells the truth. He's a truthful person. But don't fall for all the BS. Do not fall for any of that crap. I beg of you. You're going to see coaches. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? We really want you. He's full of shit. Usually the kid, the coach that's smiling too much and laughing. And then changes the tones of his voice and all that stuff quickly. Be careful of that guy. Again, the biggest thing that you that you must know about is that college coaches do lie, um, and I trust a lot of coaches. I don't trust the I don't trust the, I don't trust a percentage of coaches that I think are just absolute snake oil, snake oil salesmen, and it, it's just, it's just part of the business. It's been there for the decades that college coaches lie, decades, absolute decades. Um, or, the famous story is a couple of decades back, a kid, a kid in the winter got sick in his dormitory, had uh, meningitis, went to the hospital in St. Louis, he went to SIU, went to the hospital in St. Louis, very sick, on his deathbed, and his coach 
who wrote a letter two weeks after he fully healed, basically saying that the parents and the kid were scumbags and that he should have been trusted more by them because the kid announced that he was going to transfer. That's all you need to know. They're scumbags. No doubt about that. So just a quick reminder. Just a quick reminder. There's scumbags coaches, and there's definitely scumbag parasites, middleman street agents that want your money. So just to give you guys a quick, quick reminder. All right. So we get into the Division One averages, size averages. Quarterback, 6'2 to 6'6, 208 pounds. Running back, 5'10, 5'9. Wide receiver, anything upward from over from 6 uh from 60510 63 64 they love that but good size speed 64 over for tight ends average size for division 1 64 63 uh again what college coaches are looking for scouts are looking for defensive lineman 63 65 um defense uh, offensive lineman again 64 63 under 325 pounds linebacker 62 Defensive backs anywhere between 5'11 to 6'3. For a quarterback, they're looking for accuracy, arm strength, setup, release, uh, reading defenses, on the move, passing the ball, intangibles. Now, these things will be changed according to scheme. Uh, so for so for um, <clears throat> on the move, not so much for a run and shoot, red gun type of offense. For a spread, on the move. So it, 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 variables change. Inside running for running back, outside running, breaking tackles, blocking, and receiving. Wide receiver, release, route running, hands, after the catch, block, uh, blocking, tight end. Same thing as wide receiver, but adding more of the, again, moving, blocking, keeping those hips square. Offensive line, run blocking, pass blocking, initial quickness, trapping, getting downfield. Um, defensive, uh, defensive ends, pass rush. And overall strength, um, edge rusher, run defense, explosion, and tackling. Also pursued because of the edge rusher and what they are required to do. Linebackers, read and react, tackling, same thing as a defense. Pursuit, again, mental quickness, mental agility as well. And ability, again, to read plays and be smart. And again, offensive linemen are the smartest people on the field. And I'm not an offensive lineman, I'm a defensive lineman. So guess what? I'm a dumb dumb. But just to, just to give you guys a quick thing, offensive linemen, if you don't have the GPA, you're not going to get those offers. I'm telling you that right now. Offensive linemen got to be smart. Very, very smart. Um, DBs, read and react coverage and closing speed. And overall, again, can they come back if they miss, if they do a miss with the hip tracing, that wide receiver gets an extra two yards on them, can they recover? That's the big thing for uh, defensive backs and uh, how to, to get uh, recruited. Now, just a, a quick thing if you're watching this about for uh, college camps and showcases and that, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Do not be flashy. I beg of you. And wear broken into cleats. Do not wear brand new cleats. You're going to screw yourself up. I've seen too many kids get injured. And talking about college camps, I'm going to tell you this right now. For college camps, I beg this of you. I, I plead. I plead. I plead with you. Do not overdo it on college camps. I've seen kids get injured after doing 20 camps. Don't overdo it. Usually two to three, I would say for one to two to three for freshmen, sophomores, juniors, you can get to maybe four and five if need be, or three. For seniors, if you don't have an offer, you can do maybe four to six. But don't overdo it. Again, these are kids, people. These are not adults. They have to have fun. They must have a teenage life in the summer. That is the most important thing, so I beg of you. That is one of the biggest things, too. Um, and overall, don't get... Don't, don't get caught up in the publicity stunts of other recruits. Don't get caught up with, well, this kid's got an offer. Do not compare yourself to other recruits. Recruits, parents, do not, definitely, I beg of you, do not compare your son to other recruits. It is horrible. It is a disgusting habit. And then jealousy begins, and then hate begins, 
and then you do stuff uh, stuff that's absolutely uncalled for or stupid, or you just spend money for absolutely no good reason. I'm telling you that right now. A lot of parents do this, do this, and it sucks. I'm telling you that right now. So please don't get caught up in that. How many articles are written about me? Uh, it's it's a ploy. Writers are making money off the articles that are written about the kids. Well, I decommitted. Oh, we gotta do an article. That's more money. Cha ching, cha ching. That's the big thing. Um, understand, recruiting stars, recruiting rankings mean shit to college coaches. College coaches could give two flying f's about it. If you need to know, you need to know the story about Blake Carringer. It was in 2018, 2019. He was a recruit that was made up by two kids. Uh, it, he was a fake recruit. They said he got offered by Alabama and Amherst. Do you want to know what happened? Rivals gave him stars. So did 24-7 give him stars. That's all you need to know. Stars e offers equal stars. Simple as that. If you want that last star, you boost has got to pay. So that's just a, uh oh, I dropped, a, I, I dropped another secret, dirty little secret. Yes. A lot of these publications, they get paid for the rankings. Simple as that. Just to let you know, there are two, three publications and out of Prep Red Zone, which I really like, they don't really do that shit. There's other places, like, literally people do not understand that one favors a major conference, the other one favors another major conference, the Big Ten versus the SEC. Maybe sprinkle a little bit of a Pac-12 in, but just to, just to give you guys a quick reminder. And there's scumbag recruiting writers, and again, they get paid, they make money. Um, and again, just a quick reminder, it happens a lot. It happens so much. Don't be caught up, well, I need an article, I need an article. I do articles for free, not anymore. They stopped on deepdishfootball.com. They were absolutely free. Didn't charge anyone. So I do not understand why parents then go through a middleman to pay a recruiting writer maybe 700 800 bucks. And by the way, there's a, a, a tip thing on deepdishfootball.com. The largest tip I ever got after I wrote an article was 20 bucks. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. Rolling cash. So, uh, I'm, I'm, rolling, I'm rolling cash so much that it's for me to quit my job as a butcher. But nah, not going to happen because I don't make shit. So, just to give you a quick little thing, there's good people, there's bad people in recruiting. You will know who they are. Are I'm telling you that right now, and do not be influenced or star gazing. Well, how come I don't have this star? How come I don't have those rankings? Just don't. And again, it all it's all in hieroglyphics. The offers, those offers, will matter how how many stars you get. If you get an offer from Alabama, um, USC, and say Ohio State. You're going to get four stars automatically. So just, a, again, a quick reminder to everyone. Just a little quick thing. Again, it, it's a joke. And there's writers that really uh, that have no history in football. I'm going to tell you right now. The best hire that Rivals ever did was hire Clint Cosgrove. That man is a star, rising star. He's coached. He's played. He's played Division One football. He is an unbelievable star. Alan Chereau. Eh, not that much, but he's a good and he respects the game. That's what I like about Alan Chirot from 24-7. Now, again, uh, I know people love Tom Lemming. Oh, Tom, he never played. He never coached. He's using his baseball scouting because he's a baseball guy on football. Same way with Edgy Tim. He does the same thing. Edgy Tim never played, never coached, never scouted in his life. And I know Edgy Tim likes to lie that he says that he sends his notes to college coaches. He doesn't. He's full of shit. That's one of the big things that you need to know. And people are saying, well, how come, well, why, why with this? I really don't care anymore. I, I don't care. I, I really don't care. No one's fighting anymore. Fun. Like Reed when I'll be uh, Nero, Nero during Rome playing the fiddle while Rome's burning. So guess what? The football world, college, high school football world, it's burning right now. I just say congrats on NIL. Thank you guys so much for joining the recruiting seminar. I got about um, 12 more days left. 
as the publisher of Deep Dish Football. If this is still, if you're watching this, this is before November 27th, I'm going to answer questions. But if it's after November 27th, don't email because I ain't going to answer, <laughs> to be honest with you. Thank you guys so much for joining, and enjoy the night.